This video will demonstrate how to use the basic settings of MQP. I'm currently in the configuration tool and I'm going to create a new profile under the tester folder so I can load this profile using the strategy tester. To do so, I right click on the tester folder and click new profile. We're going to be talking about the two, two areas, the notifications and the defaults. To begin with, the security code is where you enter the code once you've purchased the product. You can enter it here or you can enter it on the charts by clicking the smiley face and typing in the security code here. Once you've entered it once on the live chart, you do not have to re-enter that code again. The next item is the display settings. By checking this box, it will open up in the comments section of the chart details about your, your current configuration. You can see this in the top left corner here. The display settings is turned on and you, I, you can see which settings I have enabled. And in addition to that, you can see the account, the version that's running, and the profile name and the last time it was saved. The send email checkbox allows MQP to send notifications when trades are executed and when take profit met, uh, when take profits are executed. In order to get this completely set up, you must also enable the email settings inside your BetaTrader 4. This is the trade journal checkbox. By checking this box, MTP will write any execution of trades that MTP creates into an, a Microsoft Excel file inside your MetaTrader 4 folder. The default section is, has a set of settings that cannot be disabled, including the default lot size. This is the lot size you typically use when trading in MT4. The default stop loss is the number of pips from the open price you want a stop loss to be set. The default trailing stop is only enabled when the trailing stop method is turned on on the money management tab. It is grayed out here so it's disabled. The default take profit is a setting you cannot turn off and will put a take profit 200 pips in this example from your open price. The default order deviation or slippage is the number of pips that you allow to slip from the price you requested to the price that actually was that you were actually given. Fib period is used in other settings, including the money management tab of take profits, trailing stops, lock in, the take loss method. There will be more explanation on this later when we cover the money management tab. And the last setting is the training method. Enable this method only if you're using the MTP trainer. If you're using the scripts in the strategy tester or on the live chart, do not enable this method. To demonstrate some of these defaults, I'm going to leave these set to the, the, the basic default settings that come with the product, 54 pips and 200, and the default lot size of 01. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to enable the order settings method so I can execute a script in the strategy tester. Once I've saved this, and open up the charts. In the strategy tester, which you can see here below, and in the previous video, we, I described how to use the strategy tester. I'm going to load the profile I just created by clicking the expert properties and then clicking load. From here, I see the new, the new profile test demo, which I will load. I will, start the, I will start the strategy tester. And as you can see, price is moving. To demonstrate the default settings, I'm going to open up a trade. And on the charts, you see two lines drawn. Since I opened up a cell, the, the line on top, the red line on top, is the stop loss. Measured from the open price equals 54 pips. The, the red line on the bottom side of the trade is the take profit, which should be close to 200 pips away from my open price. In addition, the trade the lot size open is 0 
In MTP, you're unable to turn off these settings. These settings can be used as protection in case you lose communication with your broker, knowing that you will have a, a way to get out of your trade at a certain point, either on a profit side or on the loss side. This concludes the video on the basic settings part one. Thank you.